안녕하세요. 김민지입니다. Angela Minji Kim입니다. Today I'm going to be doing mukbang. Mukbang is eating broadcast. It's quite popular in Korea. And some of you guys wanted to see me do a mukbang, so I've got everything set up here. I'm actually going to be making a volcano kimchi bokkeumbap, kimchi fried rice. I saw this video online. It was like in my recommendations and basically it's kimchi bokkeumbap and you make it into a mountain and then there's egg and cheese around it and I was craving it ever since I saw that video so let's try to make it. Okay, I probably should be cooking right here but this is the only location where this table is really low. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil because I have Spam. I want to cook up the Spam a little bit first because I want it to be, um, I want it to get caramelized a little bit. I have a little nice little, oh. I am starving by the way. <laughs> Well, I wanted to make this and I realized I forgot to make rice, so then I had to wait for the rice to um, cook. Okay, I never used this burner to cook before like this, so oh, everything's sticking. You don't really need oil for this though. Ah. I think that's good enough. Okay, well, I've never really <laughs> I only use this to cook cream barbecue. I never really use this to cook, so this heat is really strong. Maybe that's why it got burnt. Mary kimchi. Okay, yeah, I had the heat on too high. So I'm gonna cook this kimchi until it's translucent. Oh, I'm starving. It's looking good already. Mm. I like my kimchi to be slightly caramelized, like the Spam. So, a lot of times at this point, people will add rice and stuff, but I like to cook the kimchi a little bit longer. I'm gonna add the Spam.
also have some kimchi liquid. I'll add more of this. I'm not going to add salt to this because of the spam, but you can taste it, adjust it to your liking. Mm. Okay, at this point, I'm supposed to make it into a mountain. Volcano. Does it look like a volcano? <laughs> this is not working out as I thought it would be. It looks more like a rock. Hmm. I guess I should have tried to um, take it out and mold it and put it back. Okay, it looks the same. Oops. Okay, I tried. That's the best I can do. So make a hole on top. my egg mixture, pour it, it's supposed to be like lava. It looks so good. I actually want to put more cheese on top after the egg cooks.
I think we're good to eat. broken volcano, mix it in. Oh man. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I do this before? This is probably the best kimchi bulgumbap I ever had. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I'm even saying this because I'm hungry, but no, this is, <laughs> this is really good. If you haven't added mozzarella cheese to your kimchi pokembap, do it now. Do it now. You know, I haven't been watching Korean dramas lately. Actually, I don't think I've seen a Korean drama this year. The last Korean drama I saw was Cheese and Trap. That was last year. Cheese and Trap and Reply 1998. No, 1988, Reply 1988. And those dramas are really great, but towards the middle, it got and I refused to watch the last two episodes on both of those dramas. I didn't watch the last two dramas on um, Cheese and Trap or Reply 1988 because I was so disappointed on how the plot line was going. Yeah, that was the last Korean drama I saw. I do read the webtoon for Cheese and Trap online. Every Sunday, they up translate it into English. I tried to read the Korean version, but I read very, very slow. And there's a lot of words that I can't read or understand. So that would take me forever to read the Korean version. But I'm like obsessed with line webtoon. At least the English. <laughs> At least the English. At least the English one. Um, I enjoy reading as per usual. Uh, Safi, the one eyed cat, is my favorite. They upload it every Saturday and Sunday. This girl has three, no, four cats, and one of them is called Safi, and she has one eye. And it's her point of view of her cats and their personalities. It's hilarious and it's so cute. I love the way it's drawn. Very, very cute. And. Blue chair, I really like blue chair. Also K-pop, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I haven't been into it for quite some time now. 
I think it was after Big Bang's last album. I didn't really like it. <laughs> Don't hate me. Uh, it was okay. Um, yeah, after their album, their mini album or something, I, I stopped listening to K-pop. Because Big Bang and 21 were like my favorite. Now 21 is like... And Big Bang, I think they're having a comeback this year before they join the army. I started out with K-pop because of Rain. I was obsessed with Full House. I have the box set that I saved up money to buy it online. It was so expensive. But I was obsessed with Rain and Seven during that time. And I think Rain was the one who got me mostly into K-pop. Um, and then I got into Dongbang Shingi before they broke up. <laughs> up until they broke up and then songs here and there but not really fangirling of groups just I'll like a, if I like the song then um, I'll listen to it I still like Juyoung but he stopped making songs I think he went to the army randomly sister Sister, who else is there? For me, not just K-pop, but I really love the soundtracks to Korean dramas, the OSTs. I had every single OST from the Korean dramas I watched. My iTunes was filled up with um, soundtracks. Well, those are my old computers. I got the blue screen of death and a lot of them got erased. My name is Kim Samsoon is my favorite drama of all time. I watch that at least once a year. And the soundtrack, the soundtrack to that is, is great as well. I love listening to the soundtrack. <laughs> I'm sweating and eating. But I, I stopped, yeah, I, I stopped watching Korean dramas. I like watching more variety shows like Superman is back. Um, sometimes I watch I Live Alone. Um, but Lee Min Ho and Jung Ji Hyun is filming or the drama is going to come out pretty soon and that looks interesting that looks i actually want to watch that one so that probably be my korean drama comeback to watch i think it's like a fantasy mermaid one so that one looks interesting but i still watch superman is back i love Tebak's family Tebak is a Adorable, but I do still miss my triplets. Tehaminguk Manze. I love them, and I still rewatch old clips of them. But Tebak slightly replaced them, but not Tehaminguk Manze. <coughs> Always in my heart, and they're growing up really fast. But besides Korean shows. I think I mentioned that I'm obsessed with Wee Bear Bears. Obsessed. I have them on my wallpaper. I spare judges you. Besides Wee Bear Bears, I love watching The Mindy Project. And the first half of the new season wasn't that great with her and Danny, like. But this season, the second half, it's so good. It's hilarious. I, the episode, I think it came out today. Well, I watched it last night, but the new episode, so funny. And she finally got together with the new guy. Oh, I forgot his name. Ben. Ben is hot. Ben is hot. Um, 
I was gonna film another cooking video after this, but I don't think my stomach can handle it. I'm already getting quite full. But I can finish this. I don't think I can eat the rest of the day though because the amount of sodium calories in this already. I don't know how the mukbang people can eat so much and not gain weight because I gained weight just from cooking this before I even ate it. Just talking about it, I'm already gaining another five pounds. Mm. But <coughs> I am going to make kimchi bokubak like this forever. This is so good. Since this is my first mukbang, uh, I don't know what to really say in front of the camera. So I'm sorry if it's quiet. I don't know if you're, are you supposed to talk or are you supposed to just eat? Three more bites. There's some nurungji on the bottom. Do you guys like burnt stuff? Because <laughs> I love slightly burnt things, foods. Mmm, some nurungji right there. It was already full. Let me take a little <clears throat> break.
How long did I have this on my chin? <laughs> I had some stuff on my chin. 잘 먹었습니다. I was gonna do like a cooking recipe after this, but it's impossible. I'm I'm too full and I want to take a nap. <laughs> I shouldn't take a nap, but I'm I'm like sleepy. I'm full, and now I don't feel like cooking anything anymore. So this is my first mukbang. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys recreate this as well. Um, it's quite easy. Kimchi bokkeumbap. Make it into a mountain. Add egg and cheese around it, and cook and eat. But I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, I had seaweed. Oh, I put this in the bag so I could crush it up so that I could put it into my kimchi pokeumbap. How did I forget about this? It would be more delicious if you added roasted, crushed up roasted seaweed. Hmm. Aww.